Welcome back to Fort Lauderdale on Ice. Increasingly looking like Fort Lauderdale as the snow begins to melt all around me. What was once at this table is now just a pitiful vestige of its former self. So it's been more than four months since I've been back in Canada from Europe, from Prague in the Czech Republic. And over that time I've had a chance to slowly integrate myself into the affairs of the day-to-day -day here in the big city of T.O. of Toronto. And I really have had an opportunity to just see how things go, to compare, to contrast, to get over the re-entry jitters, to get over all the things that people who've been living abroad for a period of time learn to contend with as they move back to their home or native societies. One of the things that I notice a lot in this part of the world, in the U.S. and Canada, has to do with the subject of being politically correct. Many people have spoken about this in the past in a lot of different areas from a lot of different perspectives. PC-ness. I don't know, you know, some people can really take being PC to a level. Of course, there are extremists in every regard, and of course there are PC extremists. I don't know. One of my friends got back to me today and mentioned that she really enjoys my videos because I don't cleave to any kind of a particular line. She said, if I started being, if I started watching my P's and Q's when I was doing my videos and not dropping the occasional F-bomb or the occasional four and seven letter word, she said she probably wouldn't watch because for her, but it really wasn't interesting. Now, what's the profile of this particular person? A professional, well-read, university educated, somebody who gets into a lot of different sources. So I guess the videos resonate with her to some particular degree. I notice, of course, that some of the things that I say don't necessarily jive with what everybody wants to hear. And, of course, there have been um, backlashes, even backlashes in Europe, because I think in Europe I had a tendency to be a great deal more less PC than I am here in North America. And I would occasionally let things just kind of rip over there. Well because people really enjoyed it, so I kind of gave them what they wanted. I think ultimately it's about the audience. It's not about what I want to do or what I want to say. It's really about what the audience wants to hear. And I found that that for them was particularly entertaining, so I just continue to add more and more and more of it. I've had occasion here a couple of times recently to hear back from, I'll just call them, you know, innocent bystanders who basically have been telling me that my videos are not PC enough and that they can potentially be misconstrued in a number of different avenues. And so I take the advice, of course, you know, I listen to all advice and I can understand from a certain perspective how that might be the case. Although, then again, I notice, you know, what's one little dinky video blogger like me going to make Excuse me, what kind of difference is a dinky video blogger like me going to make in the grand scheme of things? Like, who really cares, you know, at the end of the day? And if you don't like that particular video, you got hundreds of others to choose from. I've got over 350, almost 400 videos to choose from. So you don't like that one, go choose something else. And if you don't like any of those, I'll do more tomorrow. I mean, that's really how, what it boils down to. I really don't get bent out of shape by PC kind of things. And I'm going to go into another... I'm going to go into this subject a little bit deeper on a second video blog for today because it's not really related to what I want to say here about PC-ness, about political correctness. So I'm going to just wait with that and get back to you in just a few minutes. But PC stuff, I don't know. I'm not convinced. Again, everybody has their sensitivities and you don't go out of your way insulting particular communities on account of the fact that you want to be entertaining. There is a limit, of course, to how far you can take things. I very much side, for example, with my friend Vincent Ferrari, Vinny Ferrari, who very much is on the free speech absolutist tip, and I'm pretty much on that tip as well. I would subscribe to Vinny's views wholeheartedly. Although I understand that some people are not exactly, you know, they shouldn't be subjected to some things. And you just have to kind of censor yourself just a little bit. Although, the point I wanted to make was some people take the PC thing way too far and get way too bent out of shape for misperceived slights, for things that they consider to be potentially offensive that are not offensive in the least. In fact, they're complimentary. So that's all I wanted to say. I'll leave that there. Um, I understand people that are playing in the branding arena have to be perhaps a little bit more a little bit more cautious, a little bit more prudent when they put things out there. But then again, that's what people come back for. That's what they get to know those particular people for. Because they have a style, because they have a way about them. And that's what they come for all the time, every day. And if you change up the old recipe, it ain't the same cookie. 
You know what I'm saying? So there you have it on PCness, wishing you the very best of things.